Hi everyone, I've got some very very cool things to show you today and I've waited a bit until I tested and tried it out but uh, today was the day. Um, I definitely got excited yesterday as well. I was chatting to a friend Avi and um, he just absolutely pushed me into eventually doing this. So thanks Avi for your advice. But um, let's get started. So what I want to talk about today is what we consider the SharePoint Home Site app in Teams or um, now known as a Viva Connection. So, um, and that's the ability to see your identified intranet, if I can call it that, together with a lot of other cool things that it, um, actually comes with it. And by that, of course, I mean, so let's look at this article, definitely one of the first resources I want to share. If you go and look on docs.microsoft.com, go and look for Add Viva Connections for Microsoft Teams Desktop. And um, there it definitely gives you a nice explanation of what the benefit is of adding your home site to Microsoft Teams as well. I think a big one for me was that um, previously, until we got this, and I've been moaning for years, um, I would just have to add that uh, site as a tab on Teams. And you'll see, still pretty but I lose my top navigation and you use a lot of that uh, other abilities like your search across the site and uh, your other resources. So this is what we did before. I had to replicate the top navigation and now with having the home site in my teams, I don't have to do that anymore. I mean, look at that. That's so exciting. So let's uh, take a look at the nine steps in achieving this. And I'll try and do it in layman's terms because I'm not a developer. So I had to figure a couple of things out. So let's get cracking. If you ha don't have a home site yet or an intranet yet, and I'm not going to go into detail on these, I'll try and share some resources on the blog. You can, of course, go um, to SharePoint in office.com. You can go and create a site. So I can give it a site. Let's call it the hub site or the biz hub or the intranet or something. And then, of course, depending on whether you want to have um, hub sites connected, if that makes sense, then um, you would create additional sites. Um, so those are flat file structure site collections, and then we can link them together. So uh, what I did, of course, is that this is my main hub site. Just to give you an idea, this is my main hub site, and I've linked some other sites to it. For example, the apps portal, etc., which then is linked through um, it being a hub. Now to do that, so first step is create your main site, okay, and then your second step would be is to create any additional site collections that you might need if you want to link them through a hub site. I don't always do that, it all depends on the business case and how big the company is and how many contributors I have, but that would be my first two steps is to create the main site and create any additional sites that I would want linked. Then my third step is to go to the admin center and I'm going to go to the SharePoint Admin Center, okay? So going to the SharePoint Admin Center, I would then go to SharePoint and in SharePoint under my active sites. So if I go to sites and I go to active sites, I would go and search for that site that I now want um, to be a main hub or the top. And that would be, um, for example, BizHub. And if I am selected, I can under hub say um, register this as a hub site of course. If I then select any sites that I do want to link to it, so for example, I don't know, um, let's say human resources or finance management, I can then go and say um, associate with a hub and I then select that hub that I've just selected. So you're actually kind of building your parent-child relationship. So first step is create any site that you need. And if you don't have it yet, the second step would be is to create additional sites if you do want a hub site structure. Okay, not always necessary. Then my third step is to go and set up the parent-child relationships, you know, to associate um, or register a hub site and then to associate sites with that hub site, okay, to build that um, relationship. Now, my um, fourth step, again, if you don't have this in place yet, my fourth step would be is that you have to download the SharePoint online management shell. So if you've never used this, um, I've used it quite often to create custom themes in, um, in SharePoint online. But if you haven't um, used it yet, you can then go um, just to the download center and download the SharePoint online management shell and just install it. Okay, so that's uh, definitely my 
my fourth step is to go and download the SharePoint Online Management Shell. And if you've done all those things already, then we're ready to get started with um, what we have to do next. Now, for me, um, next up is that I want to set up that main hub site of mine as a home site. And that's something I need to do through using the SharePoint Online Management Shell. So let's take a look at how that works. So I opened up the SharePoint Online Management Shell and the first command that I run is the Connect SPO service and that's just to authenticate my account, okay? There's two different ways of doing this now, though and I think it's important that you know that. So let's look at this resource. Um, this gets started with SharePoint Online Management Shell and in there it explains two different ways, okay? Because you actually connect differently based on whether you have MFA or not. So connect with a username and password would be that type um, of command that you use. And for me that has MFA, I have to use that connect SPO. And then I put my tenant name in and then admin.sharepoint, which then forces enforces the MFA to pop up and ask me for my credentials and do the password and everything. So that's the first command that I have to run. And that is on, um, you can definitely find this on getting started with um, SharePoint Online Management Shell. And then um, once I've run that and it authenticated my account, I then run the command to set the home site. And that is that set SPO home site. The home site URL, I've just taken my tenant out there, .sharepoint.com sites, and then also the, the site collection that you're setting as a hub site. It's gonna ask you to confirm and then boom, it's done, it then confirms it. It takes a couple of minutes um, before it actually pulls through. So go and get some coffee and just be patient. So these are the commands. I'll just bring them up again in the video as well to be very clear. So um, the first to authenticate as mentioned, um, there's two different ways. So the one is with a normal username and password and that would be that account. Um, I'm gonna just copy this and also make sure that I put it in the video clip for you and then if you connect using um, the MFA then this is the preferred method then as soon as I've done that I've got to set up the home site now um, again I'm going to keep on sharing resources with you so to set up the home site so to set up a home site here's the resource that I used so to set up a home site for your organization all the steps is there. Again, I will share all these resources on YouTube as well as on my blog. Then um, you'll see there that it says download the SharePoint Online Management Shell as we have, and there's the command, okay? So that's set with your site URL is the command that you have to run. Again, I will um, bring this up on the screen and I will add it in the resources. So I had to run that command that then sets it as a home site app for me, and that's the command that I am um, um, run there and then um, and then we can get cracking so once that's done if I go to this home site the way that I could see that it's applied is that when I went to the settings I could then see global navigation there okay I waited for that to show because my next step would be is to customize my global navigation so I've set it as a home site so let's go from the start create a site create any other additional sites that you want to create download the SharePoint I will link the hub as a connected hub site of course download your SharePoint online management shell set the main hub site as a home site in the tenant which is what I just did and then um, customize the global nav so on that home site I'm going to go to global navigation and I then have the option to add a little logo there and I also have the option um, for the navigation source whether I use it as just the home site navigation which is my um, normal navigation or the hub and global navigation. So navigation is hidden at the top of the page unless a hub site where it is displays as a hub navigation. So that'll bring in my um, hub site navigation as well. So you can also set up and configure your global navigation. It's not a showstopper, but it is a good thing to just uh, take a look at that. And then the next step for us is to now download that package we need for the Viva connections, okay? So let's get the resource to help you get started with that. So if I um, wanted to give you some resources, just if you wanted to figure out some more things, if you go and look for um, add Viva connections for Microsoft Teams desktop, um, then you'll get the resources. I will share it, um, of course, as well. 
And then um, here is the download, um, the Viva Connections for Team Desktop, because I need that package and I need to configure it so that I can deploy it as an app inside of Microsoft Teams. So all I did is that I downloaded it, okay, then downloads it um, as a file to my um, downloads folder. And then I could do the following step. So let's take a look. So there you can see there's the package um, that's downloaded to my downloads. I um, extracted it and I just went on the Viva Connections desktop um, script. I right clicked and I said run with PowerShell. Now as soon as you run it with PowerShell, it then opens up the console and it starts asking you those questions. You need to prepare for those questions before you run that script, okay? And again, I will be sharing some resources with you. So let me quickly see if I can get the correct and I will try and share as much of it um, in the blog as well. So this is quite important for me, is that um, this is the details it's gonna ask you. So before you run that script, so before I go and on that package, go right click, run um, as administrator, get the name ready for your Viva Connections desktop package. Okay, so the name for it, a short app description, then the long description, which it uses um, in the admin center, um, and in the Teams app catalog, then of course, if you don't have a company um, privacy policy or Teams of use, you can just enter on it and it'll use the standard one of Microsoft. Alternatively, you can point to a URL of where it's loaded. Then also, it's gonna need your company name. It's gonna need maybe an external company website, and that's just a, a like added um, note that it adds um, on the app. And then it needs the following icons, okay? So it needs two icons and the sizes must be specific, okay? I just went and modified them in um, Paint 3D, by the way. I opened my company logo. I changed my canvas size, okay? So the first one it needs is 192 by 192 pixels colored icon, which it uses in the Teams app catalog where you select it, okay? And then the small tiny baby, 32 by 32, is the one that it uses inside of Teams. So this little 132 by 32 is that little one that it's gonna use in Teams. Okay, I'm gonna to have to replace mine at some point because it's actually too small. Um, I want it to be more clear. So do that planning a little bit before you run that script. So have this information ready and um, the little icons and everything ready before you run that script. So then you go to your downloads. I'm gonna go click on that um, script, right click, run it as administrator. It then pops up the screen where it asks me all those questions. So let me show you what that looks like. So there we go, it's gonna open up um, and it's gonna ask you all these questions and then you can enter through it, add your information, enter through it. And believe me, once you've picked that last image, don't be like me sitting and like going, now what now, where's my thank you, have a nice day thing, it didn't happen. When I selected that last image as the last item that it had to do, was done. So once that's done, it then downloads or gives you a new package, okay? So it actually gives you a new package which you can then upload to Teams or to the admin center. And it's gonna use that name that you used for the app. So mine was just TGS Home. And then what you then have to do is, and it's gonna be a little zip folder, okay? You can just leave it as is. You would then navigate to the Teams admin center, okay? So I'm gonna go back to the admin center and I am going to go to Teams and I will then firstly go to my apps, okay? Because I need to upload that little package that I've created. So Microsoft obviously did all the hard work for us. We've just added some details, but I can then go to my um, Teams apps and I'm gonna go to Manage Apps and then all I do is that I'll upload the app here straight from my desktop because it actually puts it on your desktop, believe it or not, how crazy is that? So there's my little app and there's also the little icon that it uses for it, so let's just get it. Where's my little app? There's so many apps there, let's just find it. I could have searched, obviously, would have been an interesting thing, so let's just do that. Search. Um, there's my TGS home, there's the little icon that it uses. So I uploaded it, okay, and it then shows it there. And then you have to go to your policy. So to make this available for people to use, because now the app is there, so people can like add it themselves just as an app, but you actually want to apply this with the policy in the Teams desktop app so that your users can access it as well. So if I then go to my policies, okay, I'm going to go to set up policies, and I'm going to just put it on my org, my global um, org wide policy. You can, of course, have a predefined policy that only applies to certain people, but I'm going to use my org-wide policy. And what I did on the org-wide policy is I then went and said, 
add an app to the policy. So there I went and said add apps. I went and selected that app that I just added and manage apps. And I also moved it to the top because remember inside of Teams, there's a certain like um, food chain level. Okay, so I want this to be right at the top in the corner. And um, so all I did is I selected it and I moved it up or down. And believe it or not, that's how I did it. So let's take a look at it. So how cool is that? There is my um, home site inside of Teams. It's got a navigation at the top. I'm so excited. Can't wait to help my clients with this as well. So let's quickly recap just the steps. Um, not too difficult at all once I got it figured out. So if you have to create a site, if you have to create additional site collections, then go and link the hub and the connected sites in the admin center if that is what you want to do. I then downloaded the SharePoint online management shell if you don't have it yet. Um, I went and set the main um, hub site or my main site as a home site. Okay, so that's a little script that I run there that I shared with you as well. Then downloaded the Viva Connections for Teams desktop little package. So I did share that use a resource as well. Um, I then run the script. I fill in the little things that it asks me or the questions that it asks me. I could then go because it uh, put a little um, package for me on my desktop. I could then go to the Teams Admin Center. I went to manage my apps. I uploaded that app as something that I can pick. I then went to my policies and I added that app in my policy to be the icon in the top left corner. Ta-da! Well, uh, I do hope that you can enjoy that and that that's going to help you um, a lot. Please remember that in the comments on the YouTube video as well as on my WordPress blog because I always cross publish there, I am going to just put these little steps in as well and um, with any of the URLs that I think might be valuable for you. So I do hope that you enjoy that and I hope that you're going to enjoy your Viva Connections, um, which is your home site app inside of Microsoft Teams. Have a great day.